Suicide is among the leading causes of death for teenagers and young adults in South Carolina. And new data from the CDC shows the state's overall suicide rate is going up post-pandemic. Our State House reporter Mary Green explains what action lawmakers want to take to save lives. Only two suicide prevention laws have ever been enacted here at the South Carolina State House. Senator Katrina Sheely is pushing to more than double that number next year, including with legislation aimed at helping South Carolina's children. Every child's life is important. So we want to make sure that every child has access to those numbers and a child can remember 988. That's the National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. One of Sheely's bills builds on a piece of legislation she got passed a few years ago. It requires the 988 Lifeline and other crisis resources be printed on all school ID cards for 7th through 12th graders in South Carolina public schools, plus college students. This bill would expand that to include students as young as kindergarten in both public and private schools. Sheely's second bill would require kindergarten through high school teachers receive two hours of suicide prevention training to renew their credentials, which they do every five years. This training has been required for middle and high school teachers in South Carolina for about a decade. Everyone has a role in preventing suicide, and so we want to figure out how we can help people help each other. And a third bill Sheely has filed would require professional counselors receive suicide prevention training to renew their licenses as well. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Lawmakers will be back to work in Columbia in less than three weeks. Then they'll be able to consider this and other legislation.